Do you know that many animals actually do engage in kissing-like behaviors or display signs of affection? These behaviors are so diverse, from prairie dogs sniffing and licking potential mates to elephants putting their trunks in each other's mouths. Some animals even kiss just the way humans do. Please note that the videos used for this content are for display purposes. On this note, we start with fish kissing. Kissing guramis, also known as kissing fish or kisses, Helostoma terminiki. Kissing guramis, also known as kissing fish or kisses, scientifically called Helostoma terminiki, a medium-sized tropical freshwater fish comprising the monotypic labyrinth fish family Helostomatidae, comprising the monotypic labyrinth fish family Helostomatidae from the Greek elos, stored, meaning nail, and stoma, meaning mouth. Stored, meaning nail, and stoma, meaning mouth. This fish originates from mainland Southeast Asia, Greater Sundas, and nearby smaller islands, but have also been introduced outside their native range. They are regarded as a food fish and they are sometimes farmed. They are used for steaming, baking, broiling, and pan frying. The kiss gurami is a popular aquarium fish. The main reason why it is called a kissing fish is that the fish use their tooted lips to rasp algae from stones and other surfaces. This rasping action, which to humans looks superficially like kissing, is also used by males to challenge the dominancy of conspecifics. You can't just pair this fish up with any other species. You must choose tank mates carefully. Avoid small and weak species because tank mates have to defend themselves from the kisser's aggressive tendencies. The lifespan is 10 years and above, according to data. The next stop is prairie dogs. Prairie dogs greet each other with kisses. Friends, family, sometimes even enemies get a smooch to say hello. But it's not just an adorable quirk of these fuzzy, burrowing rodents for prairie dogs about to be displaced from their homes by development, kisses could be the key to their survival. In prairie dogs, so-called greet kissings is common between mamas and babies, relatives and friends. Wildlife biologists figured out it is a shortcut to social dynamics. Before a relocation takes place, scientists can learn everything they need to know about the tight woven connections between groups of prairie dogs just by watching them kiss. One surprising discovery is that certain prairie dogs act as liaisons between different groups, like a popular kid who attends one high school but does after-school sports at another. Biologists now wonder if keeping those networks intact by moving whole groups without changing their geographical orientation to each other will make relocations more successful. Elephant Elephant touching is one of the primary ways elephants communicate to show their care. And elephants do indulge in a lot of PDA. They will stroke or lock their trunks in sheer excitement, put them over each other's heads, even put their ear over another male's rear or head and use any way they can to touch each other. And female elephants will often stay with their mothers their whole lives, so elephants often become great-grandmothers. Elephants are highly sensitive and caring animals, much more like humans. If a baby elephant cries, the herd will touch and caress the baby with their trunks to suit it. However, 
The animal kisses just like human being does. They console each other in times of stress by also hugging. According to researchers, elephants hug by putting their trunks in each other's mouths, offering comfort through physical contact. The Kissing Birds Birds do, in fact, kiss each other during their courtship rituals and while they are preening. However, it is not really the same as a kiss between two humans. When birds kiss, it appears as if they are touching their beaks together or even nibbling on each other's beaks. However, you might be interested to learn that pet birds, such as parrots, can be trained to touch their owner's cheek with their beaks and make a sound that is similar to the sound of a smooch. This can definitely be construed as a sign of affection and is related to the strong bond that the bird has formed with its owner. As humans, we are prone to look at certain animal behaviors and attribute their meanings to be similar to the same kind of behaviors that we display. However, this is usually not the case. So what does it mean when a bird appears to kiss another bird? When birds appear to kiss each other by touching beaks, there could be a number of reasons why they do this. For example, male and female hummingbirds are often seen touching beaks as a form of courtship. Quite often, there also may be an exchange of food when these birds appear to kiss. In hummingbird language, this indicates to the female bird that the male is able to provide for the female while mating is taking place. Next up is the bonobo. The bonobo, also historically called the pygmy chimpanzee and less often the dwarf chimpanzee or gracile chimpanzee, is an endangered great ape and one of the two species making up the genus, the other being the common chimpanzee, pan troglodytes. While bonobos are now recognized as a distinct species in their own right, they were initially thought to be subspecies of chimpanzees due to the physical similarities between the two species. The bonobo is distinguished by relatively long legs, pink lips, dark face, tail tough through adulthood, and parted long hair on its head. For humans, kissing is a sign of love and affection. So when they feel those emotions in their hearts, they might feel the urge to give kisses. Of course, this is not the case for all humans, but it is true for many. When you see your dog, you might feel so much love that you just have to kiss them. If you find this interesting, please kindly like and subscribe for more rich content on our channel. Thanks for watching.